Hey guys and welcome back to the start of a new series on Football Manager Mobile 2019. Now Football Manager Mobile 2020 is not far around the corner, it's probably going to release in November time. But until then we're going to keep making new series and we're going to keep making new episodes uh, from this current game. So as requested in one of my other videos, uh, I got a couple of requests to start a Tottenham career from a fellow YouTuber. And I've also had the request to start an MLS series in the American Soccer League. And those are very good two suggestions. So I'm going to make a start on those suggestions by taking in the account, into account uh, the suggestion to start a career mode with Tottenham. And after that, or I'll probably, I'll probably do it alongside the Tottenham one. But then I've also got Wolves Season 2 to do. Oh my days, I still haven't finished my Argentinian uh, reviving Messi series. And I've got my Manchester City uh, PC Football Manager uh, series going on. So it's, it's it's a big schedule, big schedule. Um, but we're going to get through it. So we are starting off with Chelsea uh, in the friendly game with Tottenham. <clears throat> so let's see what budget we get. We get £191 million to spend with Tottenham. And the back room have welcomed me and they invite me to view this facilities and current setup. So we got some silver physios. Let's try to take an exam. Okay, one of them passed. Second one passed. Maybe this a uh, third time as well. Exam failed. Okay. So we upgrade up we have upgraded our physios to gold badge. Well at least two of them. Um it's important to have the very best physios. They are in charge of preventing injuries or um Helping players through injuries to get them uh, the best recovery possible to make sure those injuries do not reoccur again or if they do it's not really literally uh, as soon as possible. So okay so Jesus Perez has welcomed me to the club by compiling a report of the first team so let's see so the positive is we have a highly determined group of players very loyal group of players willing to work hard professional uh, we tend to thrive in big matches. M morale is good against, uh, amongst the squad. We got young. We have one of the younger sides in the division apparently, so that's good. Let's look some at some of the negatives. So we got there is a lack of ambition amongst the squad. Maybe that's because we haven't won a trophy in such a long time. Squad is lacking in leadership. Uh, team could do with an injection of pace. Lacking in depth with goalkeeper position. Okay, so let's see the suggested XI. So Son apparently is up front instead of Kane. Okay, probably not going to follow this one too much. But anyway, okay. So we've got Chelsea in about 20 days in our first friendly game. We've got about three friendly games before uh, we head in to the actual Premier League campaign. Got a lot to fight for this season. We've got the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League and Champions League as well. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna be a very competitive year for Tottenham, but anyway, we get some bids for Tottenham's Delhi Ali. How much are they willing to? Oh my days, one hundred thirty four million. He's currently valued at sixty four, sixty two million. Um, who are all these guys? Sissoko. How much did we buy him for from Newcastle? 30 million, that's quite a hefty price. We got Fernando Lorente. I thought his contract expired. Oh, wait, sorry. That's because uh, this is from last season, okay. Uh, we got Foyf. He's a decent defender. One thing, guys, as always, I'll leave the transfers up to you. But if you guys, if I don't get any requests for any transfers, I will have to go out my own way to make some transfers according to my own... Um, my own wishes but i really recommend you guys i highly suggest you guys to recommend me some signings um just because probably it will give you more satisfaction to know you've requested me to sign a player and then you see that player doing well so you're going to feel a bit more satisfaction and uh to watch these episodes but it's up to you guys i will leave it as always in your hands uh but i will have to make my own decisions if if i don't get any requests for any transfers because obviously the transfer window shuts earlier than usual so we'll have to make all our transfer business before. So we've still got Jens Janssen. First of all, let's let's sort out our um crap. Our formation. So we've got Ericsson here. Uh 
I usually stick to this formation. Ericsson on the right. Put him as an advanced playmaker. One year Mar will put him as a deep line playmaker. And then this will be a defensive playmaker. On the wings, we have inside forwards. I should keep Lucas Moura as a winger. Okay. We've got Hemin Son as well. He's an inside forward. That's good. What I will recommend, what I will suggest you guys to recommend me possibly another striker to um to kind of compete with Kane. Uh, Lorente is a bit old now and he's more, more of a backup striker. But I really want uh, someone to compete with Kane for matches. So if you guys could recommend me a striker. And also guys, if you guys could recommend... I, I say, uh, let me know if you guys are with me on this, but I recommend we should <clears throat> we should also get another winger for the right hand side to compete with Lucas Mora. On the left hand side we've got Ali, but that's not really his position, uh, but he can play on that wing, and we've got Herming Son, which I tend I'm gonna want to use um, on the left hand side as an inside forward. So if you guys could recommend me, oh hold on, we still got no, we're not gonna be selling Dali Ali. That's for sure. We need to keep all our best players. We're not going to give in to the temptation. We've already got... Oh, my days. The clubs are just going absolutely bonkers to try to sign Delhi Ali. But we've got a very hefty transfer budget. So we don't need to be pressured in to, to sell anyone. Okay, let's let's put a bit more of that budget towards the, uh, towards the wage. So we can attract bigger players. That will make space for us to offer bigger wages to players. Even though maybe that's not the best decision to do. But obviously, you know, players in this day and age get attracted to big wages. So Delhi Ali is going to remain at Tottenham. That's confirmed for any of you guys that were getting a bit scared that I would sell him. Um, he's a very good player and he's a homegrown player. I mean, we did buy him from MK Dons. Um, I'm a Chelsea fan, so this this series may be a bit hard to do. Especially if we start winning trophies and beating Chelsea in the competition. I'm just joking, guys. I love experimenting with teams in this uh, in this game. One of the best things you can do, play with lower teams, bigger teams, medium teams, bring them up, bring them down, whatever you want to do. So Hull have made, Hull City have made an offer for one of our players. Who is this player? Let me see. Okay, we're going to sell him. Okay, guys, we've got Chelsea now. Uh... Hold on, guys. We need to do our tactics shape here. We we're gonna put balanced. We're gonna keep everything on balanced. Um, time wasting. We're gonna do. Let's do defensive line. Let's go closing down. Let's do all over. Attack. We're gonna look for overlap. Because we've got pacey wingers with Lucas Moura and Hemingson is quite pacey as well. We're going to work into the box. And we're going to run at the defense. Passing style, we're going to do that mixed. Passing focused, we're going to do that mixed as well. We want balls going through all channels, left, right and center. And goalkeeper distribution mixed as well, depending on how the game is flowing. Penalty takers, of course, we're going to have Harry Kane. Who else is really good at things? Hemminson and then Dele Ali. Free kick takers. We're going to do Harry Kane on both sides. Then Hemminson and then Dele Ali. I'm basing this off the stats, by the way, guys. Uh, what's this one? Corner takers. Okay. Um, who do we have? We're going to do Hemminson. Uh, Lucas Mora. And then let's just say Dele Ali. Then captain, we are going to have Loris as our main captain. In his stead, we will have Harry Kane. And in his stead, we will have... Uh, I've got no clue. Let's do Yang Ventongen. He is a quite a established centre-back in this team. So we can rely on him, hopefully. Okay, guys, let's head into our first match. I know it's been a bit of a chit chat kind of uh, first episode but that's how it's always going to be with the start of a new series we got to get we got to get uh warmed up to this new team and uh just get ready in general we got Vincent Yen Jensen okay guys crap i did not get to choose my fucking players shit uh, let's just say this is okay 
I mean, we got all our main players. Uh, maybe I would have liked to put Heminson on. But anyway, here's Pedro. We've across to Christensen. What's Christensen doing so far up the field? Never mind. It wasn't a goal. Good save. And um, bear in mind, this is when Chelsea still have Hazard. So it's going to be a really competitive game. Yeah, despite it being a friendly. We've got an attendance of 45,000 people. And Giroud gets a very really good goal. Uh, my defense has been a bit sleepy uh, since the start of the second half. And we do get punished for it. So good goal from Chelsea. 1-0 up. I think it's time to make some changes now. We can literally replace the whole team. Uh, we've got unlimited substitutes. So let's do Trippy on the right hand side. Alderweireld for Sanchez. Let's do Harry Winks for Wanyama. Let's do Heminson for Deli Ali. Anyway, here's Kane. What a good uh, cross from Ericsson. Kane nearly met that one. Well, he did. Sorry. And we get another injury. That's not good. Let's put Davies on there. And let's continue. And we do uh, lose our first competitive game. Hopefully that Yang Vertonghen injury is not too... Oh, shit. Four months. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh no. Just what we didn't need, guys. A four month injury in our first friendly game. But that's how it goes, guys. So I think this has to change the 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 transfers we're gonna make. So we're still gonna need a um you know what? Let's forget about the backup striker. Let's just get another winger or info inside forward to compete with preferably for Lucas Mora on the right hand side. And uh And let's also get another centre-back, a really strong centre-back. Let's get a young, somewhat young centre-back, not too young with no experience. But someone that's young and does, and is doing really well. So if you guys can suggest those kind of players, that would be really grateful. Or if you guys, maybe even, a, we might even need the... the I don't think Wanyama and Sissoko are the best midfielders you can have in your team. Maybe if we had another deep-lying playmaker to fill in that spot or compete for that spot, that would be really good. But anyway, guys, I'll leave it into your hands. Go forth and suggest. What the? F Hugo Lloris is out for three months. Oh, what is going on with this game? In training. Holy shit. Who have you got to replace? We've got Vorm. In fact, uh, we, we literally got just got fucked again. Oh, my days. Uh, guys, we are going to need to get a new goalkeeper. We cannot stay four months without a fucking goalkeeper. That's for sure. We've got Gazaniga. We need a really top, um, a really, really top, oh, let's put so cool. we're going to need a really top goalkeeper, guys, maybe Donnarumma or someone, anyway, I'll leave that up to you guys, but we do need the goalkeeper, the situation has changed, and we need to adapt to it, so let's put Heminson on the left-hand side, and, um, you know what, let's put Lucas Moura as inside forward, fuck it, man, this formation works best when you've got two inside forwards. Even though maybe that's Lucas Moura is not, not his best position. But anyway, let's get started with Wessing Herfer BSC, the German team. And we do get a penalty in the 18th minute. Harry Kane wins it. Let's see if he can place this one on inside the net. Yes, he does. Right down the middle. 1-0 up. That is our first goal of the season so far. Took us two games to get it. We did lose the last game. And... Hopefully this is a decent, going to be a decent result. Here's Hemingson on the right-hand side. Kane, a very good header. And the keeper saves it. Goes out for a corner. Harry Kane again. Good turn. Loses his marker, but he's just going to get his shot on target. Goes over. And we are at half-time with a 1-0 lead from the penalty scored earlier. Here we go, guys. 60th minute, 70th minute. Let's make some changes. The time went so quick. Here, let's put Harry Winks on for Sissoko. Trippier for Aria. Lamella. We still got Lamella as well. Forgot about him. And let's put on Ali and Jansen. Oh, never mind. That was pointless. Literally had one minute of play left. But that's... um. Oh, okay. It's just two friendlies. We now begin our... A Premier League campaign so we're going to leave this episode there guys don't want to make it too long as an introduction it's more of an introduction video but good news is we do begin our uh, Premier League campaign starting from uh, next week or in the game I'm talking about in, in about six days so that's probably um, yeah six days very competitive league we have here it's gonna be interesting to see um, how we do and once again guys 
and the transfer is not going to be over for too long so i'm going to need your suggestions as soon as possible anyway guys thank you for watching and peace